oh, look at that. Young's finally going through his edgy teenager life stage. Very cool. No. Ain't no way. Ain't no way there's a possibility that Concord might actually come back. I say possibility because the developments that indicate this might be a possibility haven't been 100% confirmed, but there's just enough activity behind the scenes where the possibility is there. And I think if... We all knew that there's a chance that they're going to try and bring Concord back as a free-to-play model, blah, 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 and it's not going to matter. You, you can bring Concord back with a Battle Pass free-to-play model. Guess what? No one's still playing it. This does end up happening if Concord somehow ends up coming back. It's not going to fare any better. I, I think they need to move on from this, Sony and folks. Uh, this is an unmitigated... You have clearly not been paying attention that Concord is going to be the next uh, big thing. It's going to be the next Fortnite. It's going to be twice as big as Fortnite, okay? Literally what the dev said. Disaster. So to give you further context, right here we have a report from Insider Gaming who first noticed this. If you go to Steam DB right now and look up the activity surrounding Concord updates, there's actually been some stuff going on there. Concord continues to get updates on Steam, reads this article, and there are some screenshots here highlighting that users such as PM Test, Sony QAE Shipping, and Sony QAE are updating the game and have been doing so since October 6th. Since October 6th, the game has seen 20 updates on Steam by all of these various users, and the screenshots highlight this. And beyond that, if you actually go to Steam DB and look at it yourself, scrolling down, you can see all this activity that has been going on over the last few days from Sony QAE shipping, from PM Test, from Sony QAE, which might suggest that Sony are not giving up on this game or at the very least dude they put 400 million into that bad boy hell they're not gonna give up they're gonna go for round two yeah i mean at this point you have already uh, poured in the uh, port uh, port 100 million and you're taxing that to all the playstation players at this point anyway so putting in another 100k for example uh another 100 million i'm sorry it's not really a big deal if it doesn't work out just to just tax the PlayStation fanboys a little bit hard, that it's no big deal, honestly, right? They're already desperate and stupid. Intend to release it in some other form, with the rumor right now being that they're planning to go free to play with Concord and find a way to kind of try to bring more players to this game. One of the initial things about this title that really screwed it over was its $40 price tag and the fact that while the game was by no means like awful to play or anything, it wasn't this terrible experience, it just didn't do enough to stand out from other hero shooters. And then the content offering was just nowhere near enough for people to feel like even at $40, it was worth that price tag. And Young, please, I know you were desperate to like this, and I know you want to say the best thing possible because it's a Sony is maybe going to give you money someday and you don't want to risk it because you're a shell. It's understandable. Hey, if Sony would give me money, I would also call Con Con Concord not bad, but just misunderstood. And, well, it wasn't exactly everyone's favorite game and taste, so they need to um, uh, spruce it up, and I believe it can become the best game ever very soon. It's not that hard. It's already there, almost. Sony, pay me. Pay, pay, pay me. Please. Please. And so the... I, I, am, I am so good at chilling, it's not even funny. Yong has nothing on me. Listen. General sentiment out there is that maybe they plan to go free to... All he has on me is looking uh, is looking better like, you know, uh, the bottom bitch in prison, okay? It, he he has that nailed down to a T, not gonna lie, there's no competition. But we're not in prison just yet, Sony. Listen. ...to play and essentially implement more monetization systems. That way the game is accessible. Anyone can go in and play. Their hope is that the monetization systems that they implement will be enough to like fund the game so that this does not become just a huge money sink because it literally made no money. They actually refunded everything. As you can see right here from the PlayStation blog post announcing the shutdown of Concord, which shut down just two weeks after the game's launch, Concord... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 
Concord fans, all five of you. <laughs> Concord sales will cease immediately. We begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. No questions asked. Literally, this game made zero dollars. But one other thing to note about this blog post is that they did put out the possibility that they might explore options, including those that will better reach our players. Now, I personally didn't take that <laughs> bit particularly seriously because it just felt like such a far-fetched thing to happen for such a major disaster to see any kind of comeback. It is, I think, the worst live service AAA launch I've ever seen, period. And for them to try to invest further into this just seemed like a really terrible idea or one that wouldn't really bear enough fruit for that kind of risk to be worth taking. But if this activity is anything to go by, if there is a possibility that Concord will come back, it is important to note what Sony is risking here. <laughs> First of all, when the game did launch at the price tag of $40... All-time peak of two months. Not even seven hundo. These are the results that we Sad. saw. The game peaked at almost 700 players, and then it was just downhill from there. Even launch Yeah, again, I'm sure free-to-play will save it so hard. Launching at low five-digit numbers, all-time peak concurrent players spells danger for a major AAA live service launch. The fact that this launch at all-time peaks of three-digit numbers, that was, I mean, an immediate nail to the coffin. But then worth noting is that even if the game goes free-to-play, we have seen a sample of what happens when Concord goes free-to-play because its beta, as you can see right here, was, was free-to-play. And oh, even yeah, then, yeah, yeah. when the game was... It was free to play, then it became paid. Which is a strange and stupid way to doing things to a degree. Freely accessible, it only saw all-time peak and current player numbers of 2,388 players. That is still not encroaching low five-digit numbers, which already spells danger for a game like this. This is still four-digit numbers for what was temporarily a free-to-play live service experience. So... If Sony were to explore other... I wish Young had a little bit more IQ. But the fact that... Look at this. The fact that it was free to play and it uh, only barely broke 2K is one thing. But the fact that the drop was this astronomical this fast is, a, is also completely a different story. ...digit numbers for what was temporarily a free-to-play live service experience. So... If Sony were to explore other options and release Concord as a free live service, I do not know how they expect the game to perform any better or perform at an adequate enough level of engagement where it can make any sort of money back. Like bringing this game back online would be a huge waste of time, money, and resources. So I hope that- Well, Sony paid 400 million for that bad boy. So, I mean, Sony understands what it means to waste three sources and achieve nothing. And they're really good at it. At the recent activity on Steam is not indication of Concord coming back because it would just be such a stupid move unless the plans for overhauling the game are so substantial that it basically feels like a new game launch when it does relaunch, if it does relaunch, a la, you know, like a Realm Reborn. If this is Concord, a Realm Reborn or a Galaxy Reborn, and the overhauling feels so substantial that it makes headlines and makes waves across the internet and it actually catches people's attentions, then maybe there's a chance, but then that is a huge investment for an IP that has a lot of negative optics behind it that people are already kind of looking at with squinted eyes and not particularly optimistic about. And it's an IP that's brand new with a bad impression behind it. So, I mean, to say that it has a steep hill to climb would be an understatement. This is... A cliff it has to rock climb we're talking about a major playstation first party triple a launch that garnered so little interest that it is estimated to have sold only twenty five thousand units across the board yeah that's even seemingly a little bit too much honestly so it made roughly a million dollars which then it had to give back because that that seems improbable because you need to understand if you sell 25k units and your peak player count is not even 700, that means 
from 25k units sold, less than 3% of people decided to play it at launch. Which is insanely little. Insanely little. The board, so it made roughly a million dollars, which then it had to give back because the game shut down two weeks after launch. And it is rumored that this game cost roughly $400 million to make across its numerous years of development. Do keep in mind that there are skepticisms surrounding this information. Journalists like Ethan Gatch have said that they've personally not been able to confirm the $400 million budget. Others have said that $400 million is just a ridiculous figure to report and that they don't believe this information is accurate. But Colin Moriarty has doubled down recently in another episode of his Last Stand Media podcast, saying that he is very confident that his source is credible and argues that the $400 million budget is not as far-fetched as you might think. He highlights how his source confirmed things like a leaked script. I mean, why would it, why, why would it honestly be far-fetched? Skull and Bones was something like $300 million for the next Tomb Raider game that's in development, which was confirmed to be a real leak when the leak... Wait, are we talking about the Tomb Raider game where she's a lesbian and extremely visibly lesbian at that? It constantly mentions how lesbian she is? Huh. Interesting. That DMCA'd by Square Enix, that's a surefire way to confirm that a leak is true. Colin went as far as criticizing anyone who like scoffed at the notion of a $400 million budget for Concord. He pointed out that they could have verified that information with their own sources. So Colin seems very confident that this $400 million budget is a real figure. I cannot speak to that. I don't have the insider information to say one way or the other. But if this information is true, that's literally $400 million down the toilet that made... The way that this information was initially presented to me uh, when I heard it, I was like, yeah, this seems plausible. I see no... I, I... When people make shit up, there's, there's the problem of those people probably not understanding what exactly they are doing, why things are happening like this. But when I heard this, uh, when, when I heard the explanation for 400 million, nothing seemed out of the ordinary. At the bare, 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 bare minimum, who, if this is a lie, the person who made it up did a good job making it up in that case because it seems plausible. There are no obvious red flags in where I go like, why would you do this because typically uh, fake stories like that do have these problems because people who make up fake stories don't know which information is actually relevant and not relevant so they overlap or mix too much or there's not uh the, or there's not enough relevant information okay and they don't know what the what, what questions to answer because they they don't know what's important eight zero dollars and maybe uh, this is such a huge money sink that Sony desperately wants to make some money back and want to attempt a free-to-play format with probably a lot of microtransactions infused in there uh, to get people to spend and uh, to have some kind of income. Okay, Young, uh, it's pretty clear you're trying to draw out the video, so, you know, it's nine minutes and you can get the ad revenue. <laughs> out of ten my my dude anyway uh you can go back to prison and be the bottom uh, bottom be dead it's fine it's it's okay and whether you think there's any sort of path for concord to babe, make babe, babe. a Yuck. reborn style comeback Yuck. and what you think this game needs to do for Yuck. such a comeback to happen Yuck. share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things game Yuck. news reviews yeah. and discussions Yuck. stay Yuck. tuned right here Yuck. on Yong yeah. yeah i'll see you yeah. guys next time Yong 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 out beautiful anyway that was as you could get it could have guessed Yong have a nice day bye bye